Okay, inside today's video, we're going to be talking about the vegan teacher lore that she has set up meticulously for us to figure out. Now, this subject is that the vegan teacher is actually lying to us this whole time. She is absolutely not a vegan, and I have evidence to show you. I've fully, I've written out a whole notepad worth worth of evidence. I think I think this is going to be the best breakthrough in technology that anyone will ever get ever. Okay. Now, let's start this. Okay, now, the first thing I want to talk about is, people might be wondering, why would she just throw away her whole life to do a joke? Like a little funny joke? Because that's what I'm suspecting this all is, it's just a big funny thing, because it's pretty funny. But why would she throw away her whole life? Well, now, you do know that that vegan teacher is really old. Like, she's probably older than most ancient structures still standing today, from the periods of the ancient Egyptians to the American Revolutionary War. It's a very huge time gap that we don't necessarily know when she was born, but we do know and speculate that it might have been at the beginning of that time frame that we just set up there. And no later nor less. Now... The other thing is the motive. Why, why would she continue to do this? As I stated earlier, because it's pretty goddamn funny. And with this, the real person behind the whole thing is not the vegan teacher herself. It is actually her daughter. Now, you might be wondering, well, it, her, why would her daughter be doing anything? Because do you think that vegan teacher, as old as she is, could figure out modern technology and how simple, I mean, complicated it can be at some times? She wouldn't have the brain power, the absolute knowledge to conjure up some things like this. But now her daughter, on the other hand, who has been with technology for a while, may have introduced her to a topic of this, and then the vegan teacher from there continued it on. So she, vegan teacher's daughter, just decided to lay dormant until later for her upbringing and the raising of hell that she has. Okay, so now, the next thing I want to talk about is the VTCU. And yes, that, that is a real thing. The Vegan Teacher Canon Universe or the Vegan Teacher Connected Universe, whatever one you want to do. And uh, this is a very important subject because this abbreviates everything. From now on, I'm, I'm going to be saying the VTCU when I'm re um, referring to the lore of the vegan teacher. Now, I think you should all be good and be good with this and not be mad or be mad with this. So yeah, I'm going to just take that into consideration, my good bitch. The plan. What the plan would be for the vegan teacher and vegan teacher's daughter is that the vegan the vegan teacher's daughter sets up the vegan teacher with the TikTok account and tells her to make the most offensive things about defending vegans and being a vegan animal rights activist while well, she's going to lay dormant and oversee the whole thing until pretty much she's going to just stay dormant you know until the vegan teacher can get a good handle of it and then she can take on from there, kind of like how you have training wheels on the bike, and then you let them out. That's pretty much what she's doing. And with the offensive videos on the TikTok, with being like just, if you're not vegan, you're absolute dumbass. With that, that eventually worked. That worked flawlessly and got the media's attention about this. And now with this, the, the, the cup of the grasp inside their hands of grasping, there is one thing to do to like blow a hole into the media with the bullshit that she is spreading. So she decided to go after Gordon Ramsay, someone known for his recipes and shit, including meat and all that type of stuff, even though he does have vegan recipes, but we're not gonna focus on that. She went after Gordon Ramsay and that caught the attention of commentator channels that we're like, hey, wait a minute, this is, this isn't alright. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make videos on this now, and that was just falling straight inside that vegan teacher's trap. That the thing she placed there with the make going after Gordon Ramsay, it was all part of her elaborate ruse and stuff. And then Gordon Ramsay made like a video back, and that got everyone else being like, oh my Jesus Christ. And then after the commentary channels are going after her for a while, 
and she just kept making more and more videos that are just more ludicrous after another. Something has happened. Something that I, I'm not quite sure if it was part of the plan or not. But she got banned from TikTok. And now this, of course, created a lot more controversy being like, oh, she got banned from TikTok. And it was like mainly because she was harassing people and stuff. And that's against the TOS. But yeah, it, it, it is pretty cool. Everyone thought at the time it was like, yay, they're finally gone. And then she just made a whole bunch of more TikTok accounts. And that pretty much was ban evading, so then everyone was getting mad about that. So, yeah, and there's just being more weird, like trying to just, like, what she did was she was pretending, like, she, be, before she would, like, just be the vegan teacher, it's because she was teaching people about being vegan, but now she started putting on this, like, persona that she was the vegan teacher, and then there was that vegan nurse, which it was, like, she put her hairs in ponytails and stuff, and it was, like, really weird and creepy. And then sometime around that, the vegan teacher's daughter, daughter joined the fight for animals and made an even bigger shitstorm with this, and this was just absolutely crazy. Because I'm pretty sure she started out on a YouTube channel, and she would go around buildings and, like, start screaming and stuff, which is just honestly a wild and wacky situation, I guess. And then eventually the vegan teacher got caught ban evading, her alt accounts got banned, and everyone was like, yep, that's it for the vegan teacher, there's nothing else, and there will never be anything else. Now, after a vegan teacher was banned from the face of TikTok forever, pretty much, she decided to start posting more on her YouTube channels, and now, with this was she made a pretty outlandish video um here here it is and everyone got mad at that which got the commentators more talking about her again and then she showed her pee in a cup which was pretty weird too and also then she decided she was going to do an old switcheroo the commentators were going after her saying that oh this isn't right but then she decided to go after the commentators and now this was pretty interesting it's because i'm believe that part of the plan was the new plan as i'm calling it is that the vegan teacher would start doing what the commentators were doing just to kind of get back at him but she turned like a 15 or not 15 minute but like eight minute video into an hour long video just trying to cram it with as much stuff as possible which honestly is a pretty good play if if you say so my myself And now you may be wondering what what it what is sub part four? You may be wondering what what is this? What what is this? Like really, what is this? Well, sub part four is a thing where this is part of part four because it kind of is her going after commentators, but it's not really part of part four because it's not necessarily commentators. It's just part four was too short, so I wanted to add more stuff to it. So sub part four is the incidences as they call it and now these are our different types of people she went after two of them we're going to be talking about because these are just two interesting ones and that is mr beast the first one and now she went after mr beast because he obviously has the beast burgers and she doesn't like this because they're burgers and she was being all mad about it and saying like how this is absolutely appalling and there's no vegan options this is horrible and this person mr beast is promoting animal violence which honestly to her was the most worst thing but really remember you have to remember it wasn't the worst thing because it's all a joke it's all a joke and now she wanted to do this partially it's because he was doing the burger thing and the burgers to her inside her made up persona would be you know, not good, because their burger is made of meat. And also at this point, she was taking the vegan teacher persona to the absolute max. It's because she would have, like, a little scoring system. And now, I do think the scoring system may have a secret code message written in it, but I'm not entirely sure about the whole lore on that. There hasn't been a new um, vegan teacher release in a little while, and the big, like, bad things that happened 
the main reason she went after Mr. Beast is because he's very popular. He's known as the nice guy on the internet that will do almost any everything for anything, you know? And her getting mad at Mr. Beast for a couple burgers, even though he's donated, like, a lot of money to charity. Like, a lot of money to the different charities and stuff. And she knew that this would create the commentators being mad at her to poke fun or um, pretty much get mad at Mr. Beast for one thing he did that really isn't that big of a deal. So she knew she would gain more clout with this because he's the nice guy and she's making bad remarks about him. The next one is PewDiePie. And with this one, she gave PewDiePie an overwhelming good score on his video that he was making about the how it's made fish thing. And with this one, I feel like that vegan teacher, what she did there is after the Mr. Beast incident, everyone being like, oh, she's just, you know, going after the top big boys because she wants to gain clout. But now with this one, she mixed it up. She gave PewDiePie an overwhelming score, like an absolutely zero nose in all yeses, pretty much, or no good, or all goods, no bads, which... This one outraged the commentators is because this isn't consistent. She cherry-picked the things inside the video instead of actually going to what it was saying. Because instead of that one video, there, there was like, um, there was a fish factory, you know, so it was some really weird things, and PewDiePie was like, oh my god, Jesus Christ, stop it, stop it. Probably because it was gross and he didn't want to see it. But she took that as he's trying to yell at the people in the TV uh, remind you that to stop torturing the animals even though he was probably just like Jesus Christ this is gross as hell so that's the difference between them and now the conclusion with all of this that all the evidence we've gathered to string together the lore behind the VTCU is that the vegan teacher is not a vegan she is definitely not all signs point that she is just making a joke and that the vegan teacher's daughter is the main culprit, the one who pretty much started it all, the one who got planted the seed for the tree to grow, and also that she will do almost anything to get some notoriety, to get some clout. So that's pretty much everything that we've learned. And um, as always, you're stupid.